What do we got? We were at Kelly's and he just collapsed. Uh, sudden onset of fever, chills, and overall weakness. And well, can you please check him in? It's getting a little crazy just around here. What's going on? We don't know yet. We're just trying to take it one patient at a time. That's what? Five patients in less than an hour with encephalitis symptoms? We got an epidemic on our hands here. If we don't get a handle on it, it's going to take out the entire town. How long since the onset of fever? It's within the last hour. Do you have a headache? Any dizziness? Neck ache? Can you fix my sister? Don't worry, we're going to do everything we can. We're testing a chimpanzee that Luke Spencer brought back from Markham Islands. It could be the carrier. Sam was exposed, we both were. We're running out of beds. Okay, we'll triage the critical patients and we'll just try and make everyone else as comfortable as possible. We need to interview all the patients, find out where they've been, who they've had contact with. We're already shorthanded. Get some volunteers. Are you a doctor? Have a chat to the young lady here, will you? And tell her that while she's busy looking at the print quality on my credentials, that people are getting sicker, maybe dying. Mr. Scorpio may not be the nicest man in the world, but he does have official credentials and he does know what he's doing. Let's do it. All right. This is no ordinary encephalitis. I've never seen anything like this. I have. Malcolm Arlen's. If we're going to contain it, we've got to quarantine the hospital. Wait, do you want to lock down the entire hospital? Nobody gets in, nobody gets out, unless they're symptomatic. Well, what about the hospital staff? I mean, they've already been exposed. It's a bit late in the day for hazmat suits. Let's just go for standard precautions, quarantine gowns and gloves, and beyond that, we're all at risk. Someone's got to follow through on the outside with the interviews, go to the locations, and anyone who's been exposed... I already had this conversation with my father. I'm not leaving. The situation has changed. We're about to quarantine the hospital. Which means every doctor is needed. Robin, you have HIV. <sighs> You're at a greater risk if you get infected. I live with the risk every day. Listen to me. Your immune system is compromised. Encephalitis could possibly bring on full-blown AIDS. Tell me something I don't know. Get in, or I will carry you in. Robin! Sam's in trouble. Take care of the incoming patients. Rob. I have to get to Sam. The antibiotics were up, but it hasn't helped. All right, well, we have to give it time. I'm afraid you're going to have to go down to the cafeteria. What? Are you kidding me? Get out of my no, way. No, 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 you cannot leave now. Well, listen, I'm not a patient here, so you can't stop me. I just brought in a co-worker. I'm not even sick. Yeah, but you've been exposed, and that's why we have to monitor. Oh, no, you keep us trapped here, and I promise you, lady, people will get hurt. Look, I know this is a, a frightening situation. Oh, Forget it. No, uh, look, here. please, please. <laughs> This hospital is now under quarantine. My children are waiting for me at home. Well, ma'am, I suggest you make a call and have somebody be with them because nobody's leaving. Oh, Dr. Gardner, there's been a viral outbreak. Any of you could be infected and not know it yet. If you leave, you run the chance of spreading to your children, to your workplace. We're not sick. You can't keep us here. Sir, this isn't multiple choice. I'm leaving. Who's with me? Where's the commissioner? He's supposed to be here handling this. You looking for me? Oh. Nobody goes anywhere. I just wanted to see if you were real. Now that I see that you are, I can kill you. Any of the encephalitis strains we're familiar with, it's virulent and arbitrary. Patients show all the standard symptoms, headache, high fever, but once they get to seizures and delirium, I'm not sure there's any coming back from them. The natives are getting restless, folks. Now, how long before this blood test? I'll put a rush on the test. It'll be here soon. Well, then what? We don't have a cure? But we will try to alleviate the symptoms. Oh, I've, I've got to call Alan. Chief of staff should be here. Well, these antibiotics are having minimal effect, too. Acetaminophen for headaches, fentoid for seizures, but none of these kill the virus. So we've got to isolate the carrier, and this brings us full circle back to the chimp. 
and Luke, because my brother is the only patient who's getting better instead of worse. Luke Spencer had all the early symptoms. He was a point of contact for the second wave of patients, and now apparently he's fighting off the virus. Luke may have a natural immunity. Excuse me, but we have another problem. Oh, great. The monkey's escaped. Sorry. Hey, we have hopeful news. Luke was the first person with this, and he's recovered spontaneously. Well, how come that's good, Dr. Scorpio? Uh, it may mean that Luke has something in his body that could fight the disease. Can we give some of it to Sam? That's the idea. We're trying our best to isolate the antibodies. Okay, how long is that going to take? Well, we have the chimp's blood in the lab for testing. Unfortunately, he managed to escape from his cage. They're 90% sure that he's the carrier. Oh, there he is. Now, until we find the source or an antidote, the best thing is to keep the patients quarantined in the hospital for the citizens of Port Charles. Under whose authority? The Medical Rescue Agency and the City Council of this great town. We'll be making the decisions here. Let's just stay focused on the immediate problem. Now, this man is patient zero. His name is Luke Spencer. And if you've had any contact with him in the last 24 hours, you should seek medical attention. I think if we all cooperate here, we can most definitely get through this thing. Now, this particular strain is highly contagious and it spreads quickly. If you're suffering headaches, dizzy spells, or feel disorientated in any way, seek medical attention immediately and stay away from anybody outside of this hospital. If you're not sick, Stay away from the hospital. If you come here to visit people, you will be turned away for your own safety. The object here is not to panic, because we just plain want to save lives. You look like a woman on a mission. I have to find my husband. He was with Luke earlier. Listen, you won't get two steps out that door without being shot or arrested. No one breaks quarantine. The chimp isn't infected. Oh. He's not the carrier. Let's go to Luke. I want you to find Luke Spencer and put him into isolation. You know, I appreciate all this attention you guys are giving me and everything, but I feel a lot better. In fact, I could go home. You could give this bed to somebody. Ow! Sit quietly, Mr. Spencer. Dr. Scorpio's on her way. Well, then she can tell you. What, what are you doing? Hey, what the hell is this? What the, what's going on? I'm sorry, Luke. And so you don't leave. Well, it's kind of kinky, and it might be fun if I were in the mood. But... The chimp came up clean, didn't he? I'm afraid so. No, well, Kazar was right. It was me. I brought this in on everybody. What do we got? Luke Spencer's test results. Specifically, what am I looking for here? Luke is producing the antibodies that fight the disease. So Luke has it, yeah. You know it. <laughs> now, one of us has to ask you to do the unselfish thing. Do you want to draw straws? Let me out of here, Robert. Oh, you don't want that. Your body's managed to get over the encephalitis by itself. Well, no, that's because of the booze, Doctor. No germ could live in this petri dish I call a liver. Well, your liquid lifestyle's paid off. You're producing a natural antibody. Good. So, what happens now? Well, we go in and isolate whatever it is in your blood and make a serum out of it and then see if it works. Do I get a say in that? You got a problem against being a hero, Luke? I got a big problem with being a government guinea pig. Unless it helps my daughter. That's the plan. Well, then, scrub up and dig in. Well, uh, there's... 
Good news and bad news. I mean, the good news is, think of all the lives we can save. And the bad news is, well, yours may not be one of them. Well, if it's a choice between my life and Lulu's, there's no contest. Do whatever you have to do. You can't be so ignorant as to believe that this arrangement can go on and die. And you're too smart to keep trying that same tactic when it failed repeatedly. What, what reason could you possibly have to stay here? Because I said so. Beyond the fact that no one would dream of trying to find me in Port Charles, least of all in your house. I have holdings all over the world. You know that. You can use my, my apartment in Zurich, my flat in London as your base of operations, or anywhere else for that matter. The point is, is that once you get your new identity, you can disappear from here. You see, passing through customs isn't what it used to be. Besides, Port Charles happens to suit me fine at the moment. The only way I would leave is if Robin or Paddy would slip up and blow my cover. Then I would have no choice but to kill them both, as well as you, and move on. I need copies of every talk screen you've done for Dr. Scorpio in the last month. Okay, I'll be down in a few minutes. Call needs to be done about Dr. Ford. If he makes any more changes in the admission policy, we won't have patients left to treat. And we need to get the staff together for me united front for the next board meeting. Yeah, I'm not big on administrative policy. Yeah, well, maybe so. Every patient that comes through these doors has the right to treatment, whether they can afford it or not. Agree? I, I don't have time to help right now. What happened to your eye? It's nothing. You know, when Robin came into your life, I've watched you evolve from, a, from an arrogant show-off to a caring physician. Oh, sure, I hate to see you backsliding over a broken heart. Well, Dad, it's a little more complicated than that right now, okay? I made copies of all the labs in this special project. What? I think if we work together, we can isolate the toxin sooner. No, 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 absolutely not. Robin, you need my help on this. You can help by minding your own business. You know what? You need to drop the personal drama and focus on your work. That is why you're here, right? How are you holding up? Huh. I, uh, have my moment. I still don't understand how Robin could do something like this to you. Or to Patrick. I mean, you both saved her life during the hostage crisis. And this is how she repays you by moving in with Nicholas? Speaking of, what was he thinking? Yeah, I don't know. I, I wish I knew. I've, I've thought of every possible explanation. You know, from Rama needing space to Nicholas trying to protect me from Helena. Well, that's a possibility. I mean, you know how she feels about your relationship with him. I have no doubt that Helena would use threats to force Nicholas to break up with me, but she would never push him to be with Robin, which means that this is Nicholas's decision. And as painful as it is, I'd much rather him be honest with me than go on pretending to be happy. <sighs> At least now there are no more secrets between us. Well, I... I doubt I would be handling this as well as you are. Oh, yeah, well, trust me, I'm not. <laughs> I just don't have a whole lot of time for self-pity when the hospital's working me day and night. I just finished a shift six hours ago, and I have another one in about, um, ten minutes. So, um, I better get going. Okay, well, if you need to talk, you know where to find me. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. It's one thing to build a show around a courageous, everyday hero who saved the lives of 15 hostages. It's entirely different to try and publicize a mob mole who shot and killed a man to protect her gangster boyfriend. I, I don't want Sam to lose her job because of what happened here tonight. Well, then you need to stay as far away from Sam as possible. You can't be seen in public with her ever again. Don't come by the studio. Don't take her out to dinner. Matter of fact, break up with her completely. Unless you want to completely kill her career before it even starts. Okay. Mayor Flores here, he claims you called him. 
I can't afford to let anything slow production down. Be it a lengthy media circus, a police investigation. The mayor understands the importance of containing a situation like this. Or at least he will when I'm through explaining it to him. He'll probably have a few questions for you, Detective. And I still won't have any answers. I haven't got an accurate account from all our witnesses. Look, I already told your partner everything that happened. I don't see the need to keep Jason here any longer, especially if he's not willing to cooperate. You know what? We're going to get a statement from your lawyer later, so you're free to go. Actually, I need Sam to stay. Why? This is going to be a public relations nightmare. We need to discuss damage control. Okay. Look, it's the least I can do. It's going to take a while. I'll just I'll see you at home. Yeah. Mine is going to be right outside. Okay. Okay. All right. Talk to me. Start at the beginning. What happened? away from you and I can't. My heart won't let me. I love you and I always will. And you know it. And you use it every time to pull me back in and that's what you're doing now. You have this hold on me and I... I can't break it no matter how hard I try and it scares me because... I know that you could push Jax out of my life if you wanted to, and I'm asking you not to do that. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. You need to let me go. You think it's easy for me to, to give up? most of me in my life. Please, honey, because I can't do it. You have to. <sighs> All I ever wanted was for you to be happy. you have towards each other should be left at the door. This hospital's in crisis. Not only is Dr. Ford emerging as the strongest candidate for chief of staff, but Metcalf's positioning for a takeover. So if you guys care about your patients, you need to drop the personal drama and focus on the big picture. This hospital cannot afford to have doctors who do not conduct themselves in a professional manner. You're right, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry if I came out sounding harsh. It had to be said. There are some personal situations a lot more serious than you can even understand. <sighs> Dr. Henry, call 2557. Dr. Tyler Henry, call 2557. Do you think I was being too hard on it? You were being honest. Robin and Patrick have got to find a way to work together or the patients are going to suffer. Not that I'm in any position to judge. And breakups are hard enough as it is. Can't imagine what it must be like to have to work with a person who left you. 
If this shooting were to be picked up by the media, Sam would be portrayed as a gun-toting mob mall. Your new star's PR is not my problem. I think it is. You held a press conference after the Metro Court hostage crisis to publicly praise Sam as a hero. When the local news reports this story tonight, what video do you think they'll show with it? Nothing like a photo op to remind the audience of the connection between you two. Not only will your constituents question your stance on organized crime, but the city council will wonder how you lost millions of dollars in potential revenue. What are you talking about? Due to security concerns, I'll be forced to move everyday heroes back to Manhattan. That might scare off of other productions who are interested in shooting in or around Port Charles. So you see, Mayor, it's in the best interest of everyone, including you, if we keep this incident as quiet as possible. Detective! Excuse me, I need a word with you. You are really good at this. Well, I'm not about to let one unfortunate incident derail all the plans that I've made for you. There's associates to shut up the studio where Sam's TV show is filming. I'll bet. I mean, that uh, could have been a lot worse. I stopped by to give Sam a ride home. When I walked in, she was being held at gunpoint with Amelia. She said one wrong thing. They opened fire. I ended up shooting one guy. She killed the other. You think Alcazar was trying to send a message? No, I think Alcazar's still playing up this whole brain damage thing because I saw him this afternoon on the pier. These guys are probably some of his uh, South American associates who are trying to clear the way to take over. Well, they failed. Yeah, well, how long before they try again? You know these guys are not going to stop until someone takes control of Alcazar's territory. He needs to be eliminated now. Nothing happens until after Friday. I don't want anything to go wrong with Cardi's wedding. to do in such little time. There's the dress, the uh, reception, the invitations. I don't know how I'm going to get them all printed out by Friday. What? Don't bother sending one to my mother. Why? Is she not coming? No, she's already here. She's at the Metro Court. She's thrilled that we're getting married. Oh, my. Yeah. 